This is Hannibal here from TheHannibalTV.com with some sad news on this Monday morning. However, Adrian Street, who passed away at 82, did live a, a very good life. He, he died today in... Uh, I'm going to assume he was living in Wales. I'm not sure, though. But uh, I can't even pronounce the name of the hospital. But he had recently underwent brain surgery. He was still in very good shape. He, he remained with his wife, Linda, for years. Uh, he, had a, he had an excellent career. I, I was a huge fan of his. I first saw him as a kid when I saw him in Grunt, the wrestling movie which anyone that's been following me for any number of years knows it's that that's one of my favorite movies. For better or worse, I love I love the movie. And that was my first exposure to Adrian Street. Once YouTube came out, I saw more of his work. He worked in Memphis. Stampede Wrestling, where there's a video of Ross Hart on here who didn't, who didn't really like Adrian. Uh, apparently Missy Hyatt didn't either. He... Some people liked him, some people didn't. He was also a singer, and, and I have to say, I actually am a fan of his music, particularly the, the, the song Breaking Bones, and I told them this. I mean, I used to listen to that before doing grappling tournaments. For some reason, it, it motivated me <laughs> to, to grapple. But he, he, his music is very unique. And I love his music. I, I have to say, I, I'm a fan of his. Uh, he, I am not sad about his death. He, he lived a great life. I did do an interview with him a few years ago, one of my very first online interviews, which uh, the link is in the description. He, however, he did charge a lot for the interview, which is why I never did another one with him. Uh, I think he was a good businessman. He, he was also a maker of outfits. I know he was in, I believe he was in charge of making all the outfits for Grunt, the wrestling movie. So, so even after retirement, he, he was still doing outfits. Uh, he, when NXT UK was still around, I know he came and, and trained with them a couple of times. He had a movie come out about himself recently, but uh, I, had, I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, he was one of the, there's there's been a lot of homosexual characters over the years. Uh, he obviously always had Linda with him. Bushwhacker Luke tells a story of of uh, I think it was Butch that pulled out his dick to Adrian one night in the dressing room and said talk to the microphone, and and Adrian like kissed Butch's dick. So obviously there was some possible bisexuality there or maybe in those days that was just common there's always been a lot of bisexual stuff in wrestling I'm not I'm not holding that against anybody I don't really I don't care at all what what sexual orientation people are I really don't care whatsoever people can do whatever they want there's straight people that have unusual fetishes so for the gay people, I mean, that's, I mean, all sorts of people have weird stuff. And I'm not saying being gay is weird. I'm just saying at the time he was doing it, you would still be a heel for, for acting like that. His father was a coal miner. There's a lot of pictures of him out there with his father and the coal mines. But again, overall, I liked him. Even though he charged me a lot for the shoot interview I did with him, which again is in the description. I mean, I did, uh, I mean, I was friends with him on Facebook. I talked to him here and there. Um, I, I think he liked me. Never had, like, he always responded to me whenever I would ask him stuff. But but he was a businessman. And again, great singer. My favorite part about him would be, would be, would be his singing. A lot of people will find that unusual or think I'm joking, but I really loved his singing and his, his appearance in Grunt, the wrestling movie featuring Mad Dog, Joe DeCurso, and The Mask. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Sorry, Miss Linda, for your loss. Congratulations 
on the long wrestler marriage. I mean, they, they stayed together all those years. They were still going for walks. Adrian was in great shape. I, I don't know too much about the brain issues, but, but he was in amazing shape. And, and he had some matches pretty late in his life too. And I'm sure with him being a shooter in real life that he could beat up probably a lot of today's wrestlers even before he just before he died because he kept in such great shape and he was legit. Apparently he said WWE wanted to bring him in as a neo-Nazi character at one point. He said that in his interview with me. And he said... He refused and he claimed that's why he wasn't in WWE. He was, uh, he also had a great feud with Macho Man in Memphis. Fish Sticks. Jack Kilby does a great job, but is he doing them full time now? Jack Kilby does the Great North Wrestling Podcast. Uh, John Paz does interviews for this channel. Pounding the Meat. Those people, uh, they do interviews with me sometimes. And I do interviews here and there, but sadly, I will announce this. Apparently, Greg Valentine, he was going to do an interview with me as part of his appearance at the gathering this coming weekend, but he canceled. He's not going to be at the gathering, according to his agent, or doing the interview with me. So hopefully we'll get some. I know Jack Kilby has a ton of them coming, um, and I'll keep working on them as well. But sorry about that, Adrian, and and check out the link in the description. 82 years old is an amazing life for a wrestler. I never really heard of him having any, any personal demons or anything. I know he liked to drink wine. He would always post pictures of great feasts. He lived a great life. There's, there's nothing. Whether every, There's always going to be people that don't like each other at wrestling. But... Um, there's no doubt he lived a great life, in my opinion. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed.